Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Apollonia and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this beautiful fall glam look. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. First I start by simply brushing out my brows. Then using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown, I use my angled liner brush to create my brow shape. Then I fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the shade Dark Brown. Then I use concealer to clean the edges of my brows. Then I brush my brows and apply my Sigma Brow Wax to keep them in place. So now that I am done doing my eyebrows, I'm going to start playing with my eyeshadow palette. Pat McGrath! Oh my god, it's so friggin' pretty, I don't even want to touch it. I need to put on gloves. Now we're ready. So this is what we're playing with today. So before I do anything, of course, I'm gonna put on my eyeshadow primer. Nothing fancy, just my Urban Decay. I'll just make sure I get that all over my lid. I'm gonna take this beautiful brown color right here. It's like a taupe, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm just gonna blend that out. It's gonna take a little bit more, very lightly. Okay, next, I think I wanna take this copper color right here and pack that on my eyelid. but it's pretty and now I just want to go into the crease a little bit with the darker brown Highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. 
I'm gonna take this shimmery color right here. Now I'm just gonna apply some eyeliner and then mascara. Okay, so I have applied my eyeliner, mascara, and then I also applied a falsy accent from Eyelore. It's the Magnetic Lashes. Now I'm just going to repeat that process on this eye. So again, I'm gonna start with that taupe color. I'm going to be taking this beautiful copper color. And now I'm going to take this darker brown shade right here, and that's going to be my crease color. Now these shades are super pigmented. Pat McGrath has great quality eyeshadow, so less sometimes is more. blending and then finally I'm gonna be taking this shimmery pale color right here and then I'm just gonna blend all of that out Now I'm just gonna finish by applying my liner, my mascara, and then applying the Magnetic Lash. First I'm applying my NARS concealer in the color Amande, and then I'm going to highlight with the color Walnut. Now I'm just gonna blend that out with my damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to go in with my color walnut just to highlight a little bit. go back in with my beauty blender and blend that out. Now I want to take a little bit of the Fenty setting powder and set my under eye. And now I'm gonna get ready to apply my foundation. So today I'm using my Kara Weiss Cream Foundation in the color Delicate. 
And this I apply with my fingers. I think that's the best way to warm it up. You can see I've been using this religiously. It has become one of my favorite foundations. What I do to apply the Kara Weiss foundation is I start with a little bit of oil and pack that into my skin. But just on my chin, my cheeks, my nose, my forehead. I find that really helps when applying this foundation. Because it's a stiff cream, it, it's not very smooth until you, it's warmed up. And now I just blend that out with my stippling brush. And now to give my face a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna be adding a blush. I'm gonna be using a MAC blush that I got a long time ago. But it is still one of my favorites. forget about the lips I'm applying here nude Lala fermented next I want to apply a little bit of Fenty gloss over top And honestly, you could be done right there. If you want to shine, though, I'm going to add some Becca Opal Highlighter. And I only use a little bit of this because this pigment also is very bold. So you don't need too much. Then I finish by misting my face with my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I have did my eyes, my brows, my concealer, my foundation, my lips, my blush. I mean, of course, if you want to, you can go ahead and do contouring and all of that. But this is my go-to date night, going out with my friends type of look that I would usually wear in the fall. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today. It means so much to me. And until next time, bye.